All right, so there's another update to the test server. They're just like firing them out rapid fire right now. I'm not really sure why, but it uh, works for me. So one of the pets that they changed was the flying fish. There's a whole bunch of changes the previous day if you missed it. So you can check those out. The patch notes will still be in the description. And yeah, so the flying fish now gives one experience to the thing that's summoned, and it also gives it one attack. But it no longer works in uh, the shop as well, so it's not like a free 1-1 one, one buff anymore. It's just like a 2-1 buff in battle, kind of. Which means it's slightly better for summons, and of course you have like Slug and White Whale and Wolf, which are all pretty nice for summons in this pack, so get to kind of show that off. Plus, if you have it in the back, you can also get the benefit of the Trumpet buffs. And then the start here... Goose plus uh, this Bulldog and Cotton Moth just seems like a pretty strong combo. Gonna get the extra HP back, you can reduce their attack down. Uh, seems like a good way to win the early rounds here. Of course, two threes are also pretty good, so not gonna actually win that round. You still regen one heart, they kept the life system the same. Don't know if this is gonna be the one that they stick with, I'm kinda hoping that they do. Also, that tutorial, that that's how you can tell that it's the first game on the new update. And they did change chocolate cake once again. Someone commented that they keep changing the chocolate cake every single update, and they really are. And I don't know why. Were they really that unhappy with how it was before? They also did change Flea. Or no, wait. They changed... the. Okay, Flea is the same, but now it actually has to get to the front in order to faint with the chocolate cake. That is the difference. Uh, before it just immediately fainted, but now it has to be at the front, which means that I actually have to put the flea in the front here to actually use this ability when I want it to. And I guess I'm going for the level 3 con moth, and I'm going for this lizard, because I figured why not try it out if I'm going to try out the flying fish, even though I don't think it's usually that good, but I guess with the cotton moth, maybe I could get some triggers off of it and it would actually be helpful. don't really see a lot of people actually use the lizard, most of the herd abilities just kind of fall off pretty quickly. But yeah, now it gives three experience again. Uh, the thing went from... The chocolate cake went from three to two to three. So back to three. I... It's... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like how it was before where it actually fainted the thing and you got its ability in shop. But maybe that was considered to be too good. I don't know. It's very good with, like, the betta fish, where it gives 4-2. Now it's just, like, a straight-up huge tempo option, where you can get, like, an instant level 2. You get 8-4 to the unit behind, but you are kind of running a 4 squad. Still seems quite good, though. And there's going to be level 2 lizard tail. Uh, does leveling up the summons in battle actually do anything? Like, if you... I guess if it spawns, like, a level 2 smaller slug, it'll spawn a level 2 smallest slug. I don't know if that would really make too much of a difference, but that's the perfect shop that I wanted to see. Double flying fish. Uh, yeah, you can read its ability, I guess. And you'll see here, it is not going to buff the other one. Only works in battle now. Um... And I guess going for level 2 flea, so that'll be an instant level 3 in battle. And right now, the only summon that I have is the lizard. But it could easily die in one hit. It's only got 5 HP. They also, they did change egg. So egg, now it was back to its old ability where it deals 2 damage, as you can see here. Which actually works out pretty well. I guess it didn't spawn the lizard tail. But look at that, 8 attack on the lizard tail twice. That is some pretty crazy summon damage right there. Plus two, plus one as a tier three. Pretty good. It's looking like another like early turkey kind of thing where it is pretty hard to tempo out, but like there's not that many summons early on. Like the lizard tail is the only one, right? I think that's pretty much it. Um, but once you get to tier four, you unlock slug, you unlock uh, bananas as well. So bananas is just a free way to get summons. And you unlock this thing. I have no idea how to say its name. Not even going to bother trying. But the thing that summons the gorilla. It did get nerfed slightly. It went from 10-10 gorilla to an 8-8 gorilla. Um, but still another good summon. Just requires you to have a 4 squad. And another 8-4 lizard tail. Would you look at that. And another one. Just been getting great break points. Like everything's been working out here to get these wins. And as you can see, even the monkey spawns an 8-6 monkey, which is pretty good. I mean, I should just put banana on everything. Honestly, now that I think about it, maybe you go chipmunk, you uh, get level 2, and then you try to wait until turn 7. 
just so you can get a couple of free bananas. That might be kind of nice. Um, yeah, there's the monkey thing. It just looks like a monkey. I don't know. Is it like a subspecies of monkeys? And the crane. It, this doesn't really work, though. I was just testing it out because I actually didn't know. Maybe they randomly changed it to see if, like, you could run a five squad with the faint ability at the front. But, of course, that's not going to work. Um, and just trying to figure out how do I actually want to position this because I could give the gorilla, I guess... Well, actually, no, wait. Why would I do this? That would just... Oh, like it's worse than coconut okay this didn't really make any sense and now i'm trying to give melon toe one too so don't think i should have taken the crane there that was quite a mistake uh what and i sold something with a banana too man that was just a not well played turn but you know sometimes you're just kind of experimenting learning whenever there's a new update and eggplant is back and eggplant is now what uh, egg used to be in the previous update. So it pushes the opposite enemy forward one space. Try to mess up those synergies. Uh, there is a white whale. Okay, not going to bother with that. Oysters. The tier 5 means it's going to be like slightly less common, but still really nice buy sell. And no point in leveling up the flea because it's already reaching level 3 because of the chocolate cake. And there's what I'm looking for. There's the wolf. So 2-1 to the wolf means they're going to spawn 5 attack pigs. That's a solid 15 damage right there, just out of the pig summons. Um, that's a lot of damage. Like, what could counter that? I guess, like, the flycatcher? But you really don't see a ton of those anymore now that it deals, like, random damage. But look at that. Yeah, 7... Oh, it's level 2, that's right. So now it's going to deal 21 damage just instantly. Pretty crazy. Also getting this gorilla to be summoned. Blue Ring Docto just for some free scaling, why not? And uh, Waffles, pretty much like buying a Blue Ring Docto, except it's actually slightly worse because you can't sell it, so it's actually like Blue Ring Docto is, you know, 4-4 four, four, or 1-1 one, one to everything for 2 gold, but the, the Waffle is actually 3 gold, so it is kind of worse, plus like no level up, obviously. But the 12-10 with Eggplant, I don't, that doesn't actually do anything. Obviously, I'm looking for something better to give the Gorilla, and really, the only thing that's that helpful is tomato, right? I don't know if there's any other food that would actually be helpful on the weird monkey thing that would actually give the gorilla a useful item. I guess you could give it a banana, but then it's going to get overwritten by coconut, most likely, unless it gets one shot. Uh, I don't think pita bread would work. Banana, sure. I mean, that's just another 8 attack monkey, which is just really good. And this is pretty much just the team. I guess, like, you don't really need anything else. I just have the flea for weakness and then summons. Like, what can you do? I guess you can have absolutely insane stats with Catfish Blue Octo. That'll probably do it. I don't think I have enough. Oh, just kidding. Wow. Well, yeah, that shows the power of summons. I mean, it's just, like, extra attack on summons is so perfect. So this is a pretty significant buff to Flying Fish here. Um, It's... Yeah, it's crazy to have, like, a tier 3 that's this good. Okay, there's the tomato. Exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I wonder if it would be better, actually, to just sell the monkey and run a 5 squad and just have, like, slug and then double wolf. Honestly, probably, just to get that many more summons. Uh, but the gorilla is getting coconut. It's working out really well right here. Plus that tomato dealing that 8 damage. That's a free... I guess it's double activated, so it's 16 damage just so good right now and i wonder they'll probably revert this i feel like there's they made so many changes that are so different and just like i don't know who they're consulting about these changes or they're just kind of like throwing things against the wall and just hoping that something like works and people like and then they'll just like stick with it and they're not too concerned with like making you know questionable uh decisions for balancing if they can just revert it so i don't know how i feel about that but like i mean it's interesting uh, it is the test server after all. It is all for testing. They did change pretzel, as you can read. It gives 2-2, two, two, but if you have all tier 4s or higher, then it gives 4-4. Four, four. So not quite as good as it once was. Kind of a nerf to pretzel, but that's pretty fair. Like, considering how OP it was, if you happen to have all tier 6s, being able to buy it for like 6-6. Six, six, I should have had a run where I went cat pretzel. I think I actually did try to record some, but I never got one that I was really satisfied with. And look at that. The coconut value. Actually getting all three coconuts there. Kind of crazy. 
and nine wins. Go ahead and take the potato. Again, it's take 10 less damage twice. So pretty good protection against the tomatoes or possibly like grizzlies or cobras, whatever it is. And I did skip like level three uh, monkey thing, but I, I got to find a better name for it. I can't call it monkey thing this entire time. Uh, the squid doesn't even work because I just replace it with the coconut. And look at that. The level 3 flying fish just spawning 12 attack pigs. I mean, that's just 36 damage from one unit right there. It's just so good right now. But uh, we'll see if this actually sticks. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.